John Eats Cheap doing another regional favorite, I guess. One I'd never heard of. I was chatting with Mike the other day and he said, you ever hear of Chislik? I said, no. He said, it's like the dish of South Dakota. Love South Dakota. I've been there a bunch, never heard of Chislik, but this is apparently what it is. It's cubed lamb or beef and you deep fry it and sprinkle it with garlic salt and that's it. And eat it with toothpicks. Eat it with toothpicks. Usually we'll probably use a fork or, or maybe we'll do the traditional way. Anyway, remember bargain, bargain meat after Easter, Easter, I got some cubed lamb. So I got that. I dried it off here because we're going to deep fry it in some oil. So here we go. So there we go. I dried it off because you don't want moisture and water going into that hot oil. Just like 350. I don't know. There's moisture there anyway, making its presence known. <laughs> it would be easier if I just drop it by hand. I'm going to step back a little. You go ahead. <laughs> I don't want to crowd the pan too much. That's probably enough. Just going to deep fry it. I didn't season it. I saw some recipes where people like seasoned it ahead of time and put Worcestershire sauce on it. I'm doing the traditional way that I saw to do it. And apparently regionally, there's a bunch of different ways there to are, do like, it. like different cities have their own thing. My oil might be a little hot. <laughs> it's cooling down now though. I'm just gonna turn it down a little. Yeah, you just kind of quick fry these, deep fried. Like I said, you could use cubed beef, like stew meat would probably, I guess, work pretty good for this. I would think it might be a little tough because lamb's not necessarily tender. And since you're not braising it or stewing it. We'll find out. Yes, we will. I'm going to get my salt ready too because I want to sprinkle that when it's hot. Because it looks just about done pretty much. Mm. There we go. And it's garlic salt, not garlic powder. And some people, some regions use like Lowry's seasoned salt. Well, that is crisping up nicely. I even saw some recipes that said, dust it with a little flour. So another option, I'm going with the most original one and basic one that I saw. Certainly chime in if you make chislic on a regular basis. Like I said, we've been to South Dakota so many times and I can't believe I've never even heard of it. I know. Those look about done, don't they? I think so. And it's okay if they're a little, you know, medium rare in the middle. Oh, lamb is good on the rare side. Yes, it is. All right. I'm just gonna sprinkle that real quick. A little, while it's hot, a little garlic salt. Oh, come on. <laughs> garlic salt does that, you know. And back in with more lamb into the oil. So I just noticed my second batch hasn't, it's been in the oil longer and see it's not crisping up as much. I think the, so much of the moisture is getting into that oil, it doesn't quite crisp up as much. All right, second batch is done. Sprinkling that with a little garlic salt. And this is interesting, look at the two batches. First batch, brown and crispy. Second batch, nah, more kind of poached. All right, I guess you need a bigger pan. So you can cook it all at once. Well, I'll try one of each. Let me try one of the uh, crispy. Sprinkle with garlic salt, chisley. I do like that with a little crisp on it. Hmm. I wouldn't say it's anything great or outstanding, but it's good. And it's different. I'll try a, one of the soft ones. I do like it with just garlic salt. That's good flavor. Crispy is definitely better. Now, I don't know what the solution is to that because I just did small batch. One crisped up, second one did not. So I don't know how you keep your oil. It's probably because of moisture from the meat got in the oil, doesn't crisp up as much. 
Might be good to try in the air fryer too. That could be something to try. But yeah, just like I give it a, I give it a thumb up. It's good. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, appreciate it, Mike. Follow us TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, we're gonna have some loaded mashed potatoes to accompany this. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up and a chair. I hope we did chislick well. Uh, I said chair. Share. <laughs> Thanks for watching.